hello hello beautiful people okay so i know i have not been live for a while we've actually been on holidays but that's totally okay um so i've got a topic today and that is heightened senses okay and the immune system uh, and this is going to be a little bit different to what i normally do but we're actually going to start focusing on some more um, immune system videos uh, just because this is something that a lot of people are not focusing on at the moment. Hi, Catherine. Just say hello if you're joining us live. And if you are catching this on the replay, you know what to do. Hashtag replay down below. Okay, so I'm going to start with a little bit of a story. Um, and you can ask questions or say if you have felt this way before. Um, or maybe you haven't and that's perfectly okay too. But just imagine you are in a cinema, right? The huge cinema screen and you are sitting, you know, in the middle of the cinema so you're, you're comfortable and you can see the whole entire screen and you're sitting there watching an action movie, okay? And there's things blowing up and there's people shooting guns and everything's making all of this loud noise and there's, there's car chases, there's cars just racing through the streets of you know Italy or France or wherever and you feel like you are there right have you had that sensation you know you can feel your heart racing and the adrenaline just pumping in your body and your eyes are like wide open and you just are so super super alert have you experienced that before or maybe you've just been at home and watching an action movie at home because I know that's happened to me as well you know and Sometimes these movies, you know, you get to the end and they're very exciting, they're very loud and uh, you, it leaves you um, really thinking about the storyline and the plot and what's going on, right? And sometimes you may have experienced, you know, that that sensation at, when you finally finish the movie and you go to bed and you like lie down to go to sleep and you're like, mm, maybe I shouldn't have watched this movie so late because I'm like overthinking it now and wow, that was amazing and you still have the, that adrenaline in your system and it's keeping you awake because you know you have this heightened sense of awareness this heightened sense of uh, um, you know it's like a response to you know visual stimulation okay and this can actually affect your immune system and so we actually have to be very aware of what we are consuming visually you know, not, not just about nutrition, I'm talking about visual uh, consuming, what we're visually seeing all of the time. And I don't know about you, but I get sent, maybe it's just because of my position, but you can let me know, have you been sent all of these videos by a messenger, maybe you've been tagged in them, uh, maybe you run a group and uh, people start posting video content in your group. Um, and this is something that happens to me very, very regularly. And it just gets to the point where it's overwhelming. Yes, I may agree with some of it. No, I may not agree with all of it. Um, and maybe, you know, you get some stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, what is this? Is this actually true? But we also get uh, bombarded by all of this information. And it's just like this sensory information overload, whether it be from cinema movies, whether it be from social media, whether it be from YouTube, whether it be from just people sending uh, videos in messages, you know, we just have this sensory overload at the moment. Okay, are you experiencing this or is it just me? Let me know down below. I'm just curious to see how many other people are, you know, experiencing this as well. And this actually affects our nervous system. It affects our immune system, okay? And it doesn't always affect it in a positive way, okay? When we're being bombarded by all of this negative information, or maybe it's coming from the media, right? Okay, media just likes to send us all of this negative information. Well, why is that? That's because humans are wired to focus on the negative things. <clears throat> and this actually causes, <clears throat> excuse me, a stress response in the body it causes our adrenal system to really go into hyper overdrive, okay? And that actually can affect the immune system. It can actually even shut it down, particularly when we are exposing ourselves to it all of the time. So it's really important that we make notice of this and decide, actually decide what we choose to expose ourselves to 
visually okay because it can actually affect our health and I know I know that we are we can all fall into this trap because I fall into this trap all of the time I'm like no I'm gonna restrict myself to how many of these you know videos that we watch whether we agree with them or not um, and it can be really hard not to fall down that rabbit hole right have you experienced that you know whether you're you know sitting on Netflix and you know Netflix has that next thing that comes up and says oh, okay next episode starting in seven seconds and you're like oh I should really turn this off but I'm just gonna watch the next one okay or maybe you know you just fall into the trap of watching too many videos here on social media or YouTube or whatever that is and it actually seeps into our subconscious and because of that experience that I described at the beginning about uh, the movie and how it you know affects our adrenaline and affects our our uh, excitement levels it actually affects our body in a physical level okay because you're feeling you feel like you're there right and if you feel like you're there and being exposed to it our body actually reacts to that it doesn't matter what that situation is our body actually reacts to that and when that happens it certain chemical reactions happen in the body and we actually need to be very careful of what we expose ourselves to and how often we expose ourselves to because it can actually affect our health it can actually affect our immune system and it can affect our mental health as well as our physical health and because of this even myself today I came to the realization that you know I know that I'm consuming too much health information on social media okay I know it so I get to choose whether I'm going to watch it or not and I appreciate that uh, a lot of people are filtering the stuff that they send me because they know that I'm a women's health mentor they know that I help people with autoimmune problems they know that I help people with sleep issues with weight issues with fatigue and so they're very conscious of what they actually send me and they you know they've pre-watched all of these things but my concern is how is it affecting them when they're consuming so much of this negative content and we're having so much of this negative stuff in our lives when we need to sometimes take a step back and focus on the positive things and that can be a hard choice to make especially when social media YouTube Netflix you name it the media they're trying to drag us in and keep our attention you know our attention is equals dollars to them so you know they're trying to drag us in and and keep us on their platform whatever that platform is okay but my point of view is we need to be very cautious and choose what we actually focus on because what we focus on we create more of okay so if we're focusing on all these negative videos that we get sent um, all of these exciting movies that we get sent then you know we create more of that internally okay so if we're watching um, chaotic videos that stress us out and make us worry and create fear well that's what we're going to create more of in our body and I'm seeing this this huge jump in the amount of people who are stressed out who are not getting sleep who are creating autoimmune problems and it's very scary to see because we really need to safeguard what we consume physically and mentally and visually because it can actually affect our health and there's a huge connection between the stresses and the fear and the worry that we're consuming and our physical health so I'm making a choice this week to really tone back um, what I'm watching maybe you'd like to take this challenge as well okay so I do appreciate all of the information that people send me uh, and I know that their hearts in the right place but we get to decide whether it's good for our health or not and sometimes we need to make some very hard decisions uh, because it can distract us from the important things and for me the important things is helping people build healthy strong immune systems so that they can get the sleep that they're wanting so that they can have energy during the day so they can feel amazing so they can feel on top of the world so they can feel like themselves again uh, and that's where my attention is going to be focused okay so where are you going to focus your attention and do you want to join me on this challenge to reduce 
how much of this negative uh, content that we consume is. Anyway, you have an awesome day and let me know down below if you want to join this. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.